Hello and welcome back to Battle 12. On the last episode we learned Miharu's deep dark secret in that the fact that she is a previous winner of uh, the Divine Selection. She's also referred to it as a ritual because it's apparently a way to select sort of like the next vessel for Parker to reside in. That is also why she's confident that there is no guarantee, well there's no way guaranteed for multiple people to win. Which I I suppose Alan has already figured out, given his uh, attitude. But I'm still thinking that Rink is going to find a way. Because in it, there's got to be a happy ending in which Rink gets what, what she wants. Because no doubt Rink is going to survive. She is guaranteed to, based on narrative at, at least, that a uh, main character wins, becomes, uh, and, well, and survives. So in this case would become the new vessel for Parker. But it wouldn't necessarily be a good end because she wouldn't get what she wanted and that being her friend to survive with her. I suppose she wouldn't really mind if the rest didn't come back, but I'm assuming she would want someone to come back as well. Mainly Shigetsugu uh, and you, as long as he gets to live with Shigetsugu. I suppose you'll bring, she'll bring back Alan. I mean, Alan's... He started off as a big terrifying monster of a participant, but he's been more of just a a guy, just a regular dude. Anyway, we're kind of getting off track, so may as well go. Uh, let's go. Uh, you realize why Scale left the way he did, based uh, based on what you've t I've told you, right? My death is what kicked off this round of the divine selection of, in the first place. I fail to find any words to reply with her uh, explanation. Instead, Naomi speaks up. So the death of the current vessel is what triggers the new round of the Divine Selection. In other words, your death created this one, correct? Exactly. You two know my cause of death too. It was no accident. I went through it with uh, I went through it on my own. Hurting the person fears hurting the person dearest to me in the process? So is that not Rinka? That would probably be family, aka your mother, I'm assuming. Or is it your father? I'm assuming, I don't know. While I know the cause uh, and I'm in possession of the cards, I don't know the details behind it. I couldn't bring myself to ask her before, either. Mainly because I felt it had no relevance to the, vi to the, to the divine selection. Well, jokes on us, I suppose, it is the specific reason why it's happening. The last thing I want is to force her to talk uh, about something like that. There's one thing I know for certain though. You didn't always wish a, a death upon yourself though. That's why. There's no need to cover, cover for me. The card you hold uh, and the outcome it represents is all that matters. Or all that matters. Yet again, I left without a means to respond. Honestly, I feel like Miharu has too much power over Rinka. I get that they're friends and she wants to be respectful, but there's only so much someone should be willing to accept. I don't know, I just feel like the way Miharu is treating Rinka isn't really kind. I know it's obviously Mihara's way of protecting Rinka, but it's kind of like in a selfish way, if that makes sense. I don't know. I made it abundantly clear that she doesn't. Oh, she. Sorry, sorry. She's wrong person. She's made it abundantly clear that she doesn't want any form of consolation. I mean, I suppose she doesn't want consolation. I mean, her cause of death, compared to everyone else, she chose to go through with it. That's so. It makes sense why she doesn't want consolation. It was a choice she made. But even still, a death is a death, and I think, like, consolation is still something that's worthwhile. 
I figured that you'd hesitate to elect me when the time comes if you knew about this. I mean, correct. That's why I tried to keep it to myself, although uh, that effort's been uh, for nothing since I've spilled the beans. It wasn't all for nothing. It wasn't for nothing at all. It couldn't be. Not when you're thinking so hard about how to ensure Wrinkle's survival. And just what would you know about that? See, she's so rude. Out of the five people left, Miara's fifth place. From uh, most liked to least liked, it'd probably be a tie between Alan and Rinka, because they both bring opposing ends of the scale. Pun not intended, but he is third place by default. I mean, he's played the smart game. He's just unnecessarily the bad guy, I guess, now. Frederico is kind of... He's been the... He's been the butt of every joke, I guess, by the characters. So I, I don't really think he's got really much fight in him. But I guess if Scale's going to be eliminated next... Well, actually, no, because Alan's going to eliminate Frederico next. There'll be... Three people after this, assumingly. Although I don't know if Puck is going to allow it, considering... Uh, I'm assuming we have 12 weeks specifically for a reason. Anyway, uh, but yeah. Chill, yeah, no, she does need to chill. No, she's right, I'm out of... No, you are not. Here I am, lying to Rinka uh, and lashing out at Naomi. I really am the worst. You said it, Domi totally didn't just put you at the bottom of the ranking uh, seconds before this. Mihura derides herself before standing up. I shoot up immediately after, although it takes me a little longer to find the right words to refute her. That's not true. Don't beat yourself up, or don't beat yourself up over this. Oh, I just, I, Rinka, Rinka. Mihara is smart enough to know the truth. It's not a lie to her face. I'm going to go home so I can cool my head. You don't mind, do you? Miharu. I don't even have it in me to lie to you again. Then don't lie to us. Tell the truth. Be respectful. Mira takes a leave, refusing to look back, even when we attempt to stop her. I notice her biting her lip as, she, uh, as she's leaving too. She's doing everything she, everything she can uh, to hold something back. Mira goes uh, with me here gone. Naomi and I sit uh, facing one another. It pains me to know that I'm the one responsible for making Maharu feel the way she does. Well, I mean, it's not really anything you could do, really. That's just how emotions go. It was for my sake that she never mentioned anything about becoming a vessel. I... what? I mean, she didn't choose to become a vessel. She was a baby. She... Less than one, somehow. My survival means so much to her that she's willing to lie to me. Now, that's understandable. But lashing out at Naomi? I mean, you know. She's been dealing with far more than I could have ever imagined. I hope she'll be alright. I think she'll be fine, given time. It's, uh, it's all my fault for letting Scale influence me, though. It basically forced her to prove him wrong. Uh, why, why is it Scale's fault? Why is it Scale's fault that... Mihara lied to you and or kept this a secret. Don't blame yourself. If anything, I should be the one doing that. You should be blaming yourself or you should be blaming Rinko. That doesn't make sense. What is, the, what is this writing? I know I can't read in the first place, but still, it doesn't make sense. It's not your fault either. We shouldn't sit here feeling sorry for ourselves when Mihara's hurting the most, though. Sorry for starting that cycle in the first place. 
I mean, what I. Pardon? Yeah. There's no way she'd be uh, fine with dealing with a secret like that. Mihiro never co uh, even considered the possibility of her own survival, judging by what she said. I feel even also. Isn't this game a bit unfair? Because everyone else is learning the game and the mechanics, where she's already got the experience from a previous game. Fair enough that she was one, so she couldn't remember it. But I mean, you know, anyone else, they would have experience and would win. There's also the fact that Mihara chose her death this time. I'm assuming the first time she didn't, given her age. Oh, I'm so conflicted and so confused. And it, I just, honestly, I, I should just continue. I should just continue until there's something easy to talk about. I feel even more confused about both Parker and the Divine Selection now. Mira said she was able to converse with Parker, right? Does that mean she knew what fate awaited you? I doubt it. She looked genuinely shocked when uh, she first saw me in the dream world. When you think of it that way, if, you weren't at, for, if it weren't for divine selection, I'd be dead right now. Plain and simple. Wouldn't just be you, it'd be Naomi too. It's also thanks to the divine selection that the terrorist attack uh, on the day that was undone at all. That is also true. Maybe it had been uh, for the best that I'd accepted my fate. No, it wouldn't have. I mean, that is kind of rude to say, considering if you die, Naomi dies as well. I guess. So, like, um, I mean, this is this is why I'm confused on the writing. Naomi speaks up uh, with a quivering voice, meeting you and being saved by you in exchange for your own life. Okay, so was it implying that she survived the terrorist attack at the very beginning? Losing my life only to be saved by you again. Being taught how to brew coffee, setting up our culture festival store, arguing with me her only to learn more about her by doing so. If it was all predetermined, then I can safely say that I hate fate and everything it stands for. Naomi. Besides, I'd forget everything that happened during the Divine Selection if anything happened to you. Not necessarily, because there's also Miharu. I don't want to believe fate has to say uh, has a say in that. My memories are all, uh, my memories of you uh, are too precious for that to be the case. Sorry, I know this is far worse uh, for you two than it is for me. I mean, that's that's arguable. But your fate is entirely out of your control. It's down to other people's hands. So, at least with like Miharu and Rinka, they have a fighting chance. Whereas you're just stuck on the sideline, and you are basically a, a bargaining chip. You are, you are, sorry, you are the gambling chips rather. If Rinka does not win, you are lost. Basically. Thanks, Naomi. That's pr uh, precisely why I won't allow myself to give in. I don't want anything to be undone. My encounters, my accomplishments... I don't want anything to, uh, of it to be all for naught. Wait, hold on. So, if the Divine Selection allows people to translate uh, languages, does that mean Miharu is able to translate languages all the time? Or is it specifically for the 12-week period? Huh. I mean, that's just an interesting concept. Also doesn't help us win at all. That being the case, I have no choice but to live alongside Miharu. There's no real bi- uh, There's no real basis to Miharu's claims that there can only be one survivor. Parker herself sa uh, said she'd explain what would happen should two or more remain. If that were, if that's what comes to pass. If that's what- If that what happens. Yeah, okay. I couldn't recall if I explained this to her before, so I make sure to go over it again just in case. 
So you're going to try and see uh, how things go. Yep, if that's the only option, then I may as well. I'll probably talk to Scale again too. I mean, at this point, Alan's the best ally. The two of you team up and win. It's a relief to see you acting like your usual self. Nami makes her way home after uh, our chat in order to get back before it's too late. We're already coming up uh, to the end of June, so the daylights last longer now. It's still nice and bright outside, despite being past six. Seeing her off also helps me reaffirm something important. There was a meeting behind us meeting. I open up the cafe uh, sometime after seven. Well, do we have, we don't have Miharu's regret, do we? Are we able to check the cards? Open guidebook. Oh, I don't think the game like that. Right, so let's see who's got what card. Right, uh, cause of death and no regret. We don't have a regret. So we can see who has what card though, apparently. Does Alan have? No one has. Uh, no one seems to have. Seeing the world. Death of Sickness. Sophia. Anyway, we so... Yeah, no, no one seems to have uh, Miharu's regret. We don't know what number uh, six has. Yep. Ah, well. That'll probably... Hmm. So how do we... How do we elect... Miharu if we don't have that card? Scale has that card, so... Guess that's why we're going to do a talk to Scale. They open up the, uh, the cafe sometime after 7. I feel pretty bad about it, considering I saw a number of regulars pass by while getting uh, the place ready. It's hard to call this place everyone's second home with my schedule, but I just don't have it in me to completely blow the shop. I'm willing to admit that this might not be the best approach, but so long as my grand gives me the okay, I want to assure the store remains open as much as possible. Feels like I've gotten used to being exhausted now. That's the first thought that entered my head when I lay down after taking a shower. Miharu. My mind jumps to Miharu immediately after, however. More specifically, that explanation of hers as she left. Uh, as for me... Well, may as well save. The choice, I uh, yeah, get in touch with her. Yeah, I can't just like sit here after seeing that. She may be staying with family, but she's still alone, in a way. No one in her home is truly there for her. She might be beating herself up as I sit here and think. I'd much rather hear her voice right now, so I opt to call her rather than text her. She answers before the first ring ends. Mihara says she wanted to see me the moment she picked up the phone. We decided to meet at... Uh, Zojoji? Zojoji Temple, I'm gonna assume. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Very same place uh, we bought Sophia. Tokyo Tower shines as brightly as ever. I'm not sure why she chose this place, but there's definitely... There's no uh, denying that pleasant scenery can cleanse the heart. This place definitely fits the bill. Sorry to make you wait, Brinker. Not to mention asking you uh, out at this time of night. It's fine. I was worried about I was worried about you, so I'd much rather talk to you face to face. Miara is wearing her casual attire, much like me. Chances we'd uh, chances are we'd start what we'd be stopped by the police if we were out in our school uniforms at this hour. Granted, one could easily assume we are we were delinquents, being out this late with no proper excuse. I regret letting my emotions get the better of me earlier, especially what I said to Naomi. At least you're aware of it, okay? It's better than most. 
Uh, you don't need to worry about that. Nomi doesn't hold it against you. I get. I guess you're being reassuring, but like, you know, I don't think that's up to you to say. Thanks, Rinka. Miera stares into my eyes as she whispers my name. It feels strange relief knowing that she's there here with me. It's proof that we're both still alive. I only told you both about my being the survivor of his divine selection and the goddess's vessel, right? There's more I need to tell you, though. It's what Parker said during our conversations. The, uh, the previous divine selection was held 17 years ago, beginning July 23rd. Not only was I a participant, but your parents were as well. Okay. That is definitely interesting. That explains the fire we heard when we were born. Well, both my parents were participants. I barely knew anything. Well, I barely know anything about my parents. And it turns out that they were participants in divine selection, much like myself. I'd say it was surprising, but I'm more concerned about how to process this revelation in the first place. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Rick's side on this one. Hold on a minute. Both my parents were, were participants, along with you. That doesn't add up. Miura's birthday is later uh, on in the year, December 12th, to be precise. Noticing my confusion, Miura goes to clarify. Actually, I took a year off while in middle school. So that makes me a year older than you and Mao. Huh? Pardon? I mean, was this even a necessary twist? What? You're all in this? Sorry, I'm having trouble processing all of this. I do my best to organize my thoughts really quick. Both of my parents were uh, divine selection participants in the past. Nero is a participant as well, but it turns out she's a year, one year older than me. That would make her seven months older, uh, older at the time. As you said, less than less than ten, uh, less than one, still less than ten, but still. Following that line of thoughts, uh, I come to a certain revelation. So I was born during the during the previous divine selection. That's right, July twenty seventh, your birthday uh, was the most precious day of the year to me. Came about after the divine selection. What what? You were seven months old, and it was somehow the most precious day to you? What? Like, I know, obviously, as she meets uh, Rinka, she can then fall in love with her, and then, you know, just, you know, learn that's the date, and then fall in love with the date. But the writing is just going crazy. If July 23rd uh, was the juncture of the ca uh, casualty, that would mean my parents died before I was born. So how was I born in the first place? At what point is someone considered a living being? I don't have an answer, but if you are considered alive while still in the womb, then it makes sense uh, for you to have survived. So... Rinka was four month, uh, four days in the womb of a corpse. That is a disturbing thought. Some believe life begins the moment the mother becomes pregnant. Others believe it uh, begins the moment you're born into the world. Maybe it depends on when the mother considers the, her child to be alive. Basically, to, uh, July 23rd was the day my parents would die, but not me. That must be why I was able to survive the fire and born during the uh, Divine Selection. Hang on. That means my grand found me on July 23rd, right? Why would you say my birth is on July 27th? My name, uh, become... My name's become something of a mystery, too. Rinka. You said it was the... Uh, it was my mother who named me, and that she did so after my birth. The process of overriding people's memories isn't perfect, but it is enough to justify this. Nami mentioned to me that she saw visions uh, that was undone in her dream, right? The same might apply here. Both are reality, but your grandmother opted to believe 
the more impo most important one. That's fair. That's a fair argument. That's a fair argument, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, she seemed positive that when she told me uh, that it was my mum who gave me her name, I'd actually ever question whether or not it was true or not. And that's good enough, isn't it? Sometimes you don't need a reason to back your beliefs. Pocket, uh, Pocket's done a good job of not explaining everything, too. Uh, it'll take far too long for me to fully accept this whole new revelation. Miro, so hold... I mean... No wonder. No, no wonder... Mihara won, because a seven-month-year-old baby is in the Divine Selection. It has no concept of its name, so it's a similar, uh, you know, uh, situation as you, whereas identity is based on what he believes. It has not been alive enough to have a regret. I doubt it even knows what a regret is. The only card you could possibly get from a seven-month-year-old baby a seven year month year old I'm great at words. A seven month old is its cause of death. What How is a baby a valid candidate for this game? What? Alright, Miha looks as though she, uh, she has more to say as well. So I should focus on hearing her out for now. Dill. There's something I want to ask her before uh, letting her continue. You were just a baby during the, divine, uh, during the previous Divine Selection, right? Do you mind if I ask how you were able to survive? Allow me to answer your question with a question. What would you do if there was a baby among the participants? Complain, because there's no way the baby has any two of the three cards. What are the rules? It, it basically answers itself. There's no doubt I'd uh, do everything in my power to protect that baby. The baby doesn't need your protection. It's got no way to get the car. This game has defeated me with its poor logic. At the very least, I wouldn't be able to convince myself to gather information on it, let alone an electric. How? My parents helped you, didn't they? Apparently, there was another uh, among them. Parker stated that... Those three protected me all the way through to the end and elected one another. Skill seemed to have figured that out, uh, that someone helped me, but I doubt he knows it was your parents. With four people left, three were eliminated. That left me her as the sole survivor, uh, and thus the winner. I understand all too well why they made that choice. Yeah, that makes sense. They're, they're good people, they saved the child. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to argue. You should vote, baby. I'm arguing that Parker, a divine being, thought, "Yeah, this is a fair fight." I know life isn't fair, and that's the point that I shall probably try and make. Uh, there's no continuation of that sentence. Because what? Is, is the answer the question is just what? I understand all too well what made that choice. If there's anything uh, that would prove my relation to my parents, it'd be this. That's why I was uh, scared when you first came uh, to me about Sophia. I thought you'd do the same for her that your parents did for me. But her foresight and meeting of debt with her debt prevented that. Sophia was wise, wise be beyond her years. She knew that she wouldn't live long even if she did survive due to her illness. She understood the reason why her dead treated, uh, threatened her too. What if she was just your average kid though? As Mihara said, I might have given my own life to save her. Of course we're talking about things that aren't possible anymore. Did my parents actions play any part in your desire to keep doing things for my sake then? I ask without a second thought. I mean that might be a nice, like comic cycle your parents helped her he helps you but I mean you know it's just 
it's getting ridiculous, more ridiculous than unbelievable. Her claims that she would give her life for me might be her way of making things right up to my parents. Mira wastes no time in replying. The tone in her voice is far more intense than normal. I mean, there's also the fact like she's seven months year, uh, seven months old, and in this dream, some being is saying, "These people have let you survive." I would, I would honestly just chalk it up to dreams, and I wouldn't take it seriously. No rinker, in fact, the, that misunderstanding is one thing I feared more than you coming to hate me after I had revealed this. How so? You're so dense as a black hole. You're as dense as a black hole, right? She covers her face with one hand, her voice somewhat distressed. I can only assume there's something else uh, she meant to get across. It's okay, tell me everything. I promise things won't change no matter what you say. I approach her, gazing into her eyes, trying to keep... Uh, in the eyes she's trying to keep covered behind the right hand. There's about eight inches of height difference between us. So this is only uh this is the only way I can what? For me to get a proper look at her face. I well apparently Frink is cute. She casts her eyes away from me and set back before mumbling the rest of her sentence to herself. Miharu, her eyes fall back on me, and she refuses to face me head on. I need, I need, I need to take a break. Honestly, this game is getting too far out there. For 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 a love interest, I'm not gonna lie. Mihara's not really. She's not really selling it. She's coming across more as a overprotective mother than than someone who's doing it because she cares. I mean, she's definitely got the jealousy right of uh, someone who likes someone else, I guess. Or rather, she's too jealous, I think. I'm not saying... I'm not saying Mihiro's a bad character. But... I'm not saying she's a character I like. Maybe if she was kinder... And less in your face about knowing stuff. I think I might tolerate her more. Like, Frederica's also in your face about knowing stuff, but he's been proven to be like an idiot sometimes, which is like a character flaw. Whereas Miha is just smart, in your face, always right, somehow plot relevant because I mean like Odette and Alan they've actually fought their way through this game tooth and nail unfortunately you know Odette lost because she was fighting too much tooth and nail or rather not enough maybe yeah I think not enough because she was more so just having fun I guess so I guess I was wrong about that but anyway I'm rambling now I should just call it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed me having a meltdown over this game. Hopefully I can see you in the next one. With that, goodbye.